And now we're here, and look Aww. who's back on TV. Yay! Good morning. It is 11 a.m. Eastern. Welcome to the latest live edition of Sports Center with David Lloyd. I am Lindsay Zarniak, and coming up, one playoff win in the last 16 seasons. Hard to believe. Jerry Jones expects total control, but is it hurting the Cowboys? Proof that he's as much fun off the field as he is on. When you go one on one with the one and only Stevie Johnson, there is no telling what might happen. We call it pick six and it's next. Pick six is back. Time now for pick six for pick six for pick six. It is time now for pick six where we pick the brain of an NFL player on six topics. We send them three questions and then they share three things you, the viewer, do not yet know about them. And this week, our guest is a head coach. It's 49ers head coach Jim Harbaugh, who Bengals star receiver A.J. Green, eight-time Pro Bowler, Chargers tight end. Antonio Gates, Panthers linebacker Luke Keekley, the NFL leader in receiving yards, Packers wide receiver Jordy Nelson, Seahawks receiver Golden Tate. And Golden, just one game stands between your team and a trip to the Super Bowl. I know you've been with the Seahawks on two separate trips to the playoffs, but both times didn't make it past the divisional round. Why is this team different? Hello there, I'm Lindsay Zarniak. This is Calvin Johnson, a.k.a. Megatron. He broke Jerry Rice's record for receiving yards in a single season. We are hoping that he does not break anything today. Follow me. You got right to work, in fact, making an impact. You had a three-touchdown performance against the Texans. So what did that performance, what kind of impact has that had on you? International talk like a pirate day. Are you excited? Curiously, mostly. <laughs> you look it. What's one thing that, that people don't know about you that you wish they would or you think would be, you know, interesting for folks to, to learn? I'm like, I'm like addicted to working out. Like before I go to bed, I got to hit my push ups, sit ups too sometimes. And after a workout, even at night, it will be a battle of two teams struggling in the NFC East. The Eagles and Cowboys facing off Sunday afternoon in Philly, a must win really for both teams. And the Eagles offensive line has been hit hard by the injury bug. Notably, Todd Harriman's placed on IR yesterday. How will the Eagles adjust going forward with yet another player down? <laughs> Marcus Ambrose, Marcus, with all your experience on road courses, what do you think first and foremost when you come to Sonoma? Do you enjoy it? All right, the X Games officially begin today, but they would not be the success they are now without 15-time gold medalist Sean White. Sean White joins us now, and Sean, my co-anchor actually thinks that you have some of the best hair uh, in all of sports, so I know it's been a while, but do you, really, do you miss the long locks ever? Um... Still got pretty nice hair, you guys. We've said it before, we do enjoy the panic meter. We also like crystal balls here on Sports <laughs> Center. So looking at it, Antonio, what do you think? What's the storyline for this team at the season's end? Uh, to me, I think, I think it would be disappointing if they don't get you know, one of those first four slots um, in the playoffs. They, they get, have a chance of going there on a high note. Everybody's healthy, everybody's playing good basketball. That's where I see it. I still see them contending to come out the East. I mean, right. out the West, excuse me. Antonio Davis looking at his crystal ball here on SportsCenter. And Legs, this has been in the making for days. So now Doc Rivers goes to the Clippers. He's got a shiny new team. But where does that leave the Celtics? Shiny new team. That's a great way to put it. Everybody sees you, you know, on the track, the competitor that you are. But what is it about this that you love, about being out here and, and focusing on fishing? I enjoy the peacefulness. I enjoy the just trees and water and floating and you know doing something that other people don't even really think about or take the time to do. George Brett versus Tim McClelland, Robin Ventura versus Nolan Ryan, even Pedro Martinez versus Don Zimmer, all iconic fights, but rarely, rarely have we seen coach versus coach until now. DC United opens its season Saturday in Kansas City. One of the most famous faces of the franchise will be on the sidelines, but in a very different role. Yes, after being hampered with an injured ankle for quite some time, midfielder Ben Olsen retired, and he now holds the title assistant coach in front of his name. He may not have to wear a suit yet, but he does have to look at this team through a different pair of eyes. And the one perk that certainly changed in the past year is that he can now eat whatever he wants. Lindsay, I'm calling in the lefty. Sure, the how ball. can you just take me out right I'm now? I'm telling this you, is, it's time. You're on, my... you're on a lead-in count. Oh, so you're saying I have to take one for the team? Hmm. Yeah, you got to take one for the team. For more on the Nationals, here's Carl Ravitch. And oh goody, today our guest <laughs> is Sports Center anchor and Redskins fan, Lindsay Zarniak. I work with her. She's great. 